Okay, so in this lecture I'm going to be going over a circuit problem. And a circuit problem is to find the node voltages and the power of each source in this circuit. So I have VA, VB, and VC. And I have an independent current source here. And I have a dependent current source here in the amount of 2IX. And that value, IX, is the current between node VA and VB with that particular orientation. So we have a definition and that definition is IX equals VA minus VB over 2. That's equation number 1. Next I have KCL at VA that gives me negative 3 plus VA minus VB over 2 plus VA minus VC over 4 equals 0. Next I have VA over 2 minus VB over 2 plus VA over 4 minus VC over 4 equals 3. Next I have 3 VA over 4 minus VB over 2 minus VC over 4 equals 3. Next I have 3 VA minus 2 VB minus VC equals 12. That's equation 2. Next I have KCL at VB. So I have VB minus VA over 2 plus VB over 4 plus VB minus VC over 8 equals 0. Next I have negative VA over 2 plus VB over 2 plus VB over 4 plus VB over 8 minus VC over 8 equals 0. Next I have negative VA over 2 plus 7 VB over 8 minus VC over 8 equals 0. Next I have negative 4 VA plus 7 VB minus VC equals 0. That's equation 3. Next, KCL at VC. That gives me VC minus VB over 8 plus VC minus VA over 4 plus 2IX equals 0. That's equation 4. And then I'm going to take equation 1 and put it into equation 4. That gives me VC minus VB over 8 plus VC minus VA over 4 plus 2 times VA minus VB over 2 equals 0. Next, that gives me negative VA over 4 plus VA minus VB over 8 minus VB plus VC over 8 plus VC over 4 equals 0. Next, I have 3 VA over 4 minus 9 VB over 8 plus 3 VC over 8 equals 0. Next, I have 6VA minus 9VB plus 3VC equals 0. That gives me equation number 5. So using equations 2, equation 3, equation 5, the system is A matrix equals 3, negative 2, negative 1, negative 4, 7, negative 1, 6, negative 9, 3. B vector equals 12, 0, 0. V vector equals VA, VB, and VC. And so when we compute V equals the inverse of A times B, we have a final result of VA equals 4.8, VB equals 2.4, VC equals negative 2.4. Next, that gives us IX, which equals VA minus VB over 2, which equals 4.8 minus 2.4 over 2, which equals 1.2. Next, 2IX equals 2.4. So for power, the voltage of the independent current source is positive, so the current source is delivering power and the power has a negative sign. So I have P3A equals negative I3A V3A, which equals negative 3 times 4.8, which equals negative 14.4 watts. Next, the voltage of the dependent current source is positive, so the current source is delivering power and the power has a negative sign. So P2IX equals negative I2IX V2IX, which equals negative 2.4 times 2.4, which equals negative 5.76 watts. So for my simulation results, I have the power of the independent current source is negative 14.4 watts. The power of the dependent current source is negative 5.76 watts. VA is 4.8.
VB is 2.4 and VC is negative 2.4. So all of that checks out and so this is all that I have that I want to go over in this circuit problem here. So thank you for watching. Hopefully it was helpful and have a nice day.